So the women's draw is officially out for Canada. And we've got some massive names playing. It is absolutely stacked. But let's go to the withdrawal list because we do have a couple of big names that are not playing. Starting with Alexandrova, she's pulled out. Kastea has also pulled out. Danielle Collins, the biggest name on the women's side to pull out of this event. Sasnovich, she's also out. And Van Udvank has also pulled out of this event. Let's go to the top half of the draw, though. So top half of the draw, we have 16 seeds in this one with the top eight seeds getting a bye in the first round. Uh, Iga Sviantek, number one seed. She gets a bye in the first round. She'll take on either Kudamatova or Shelby Rogers in the second round, who both have played very well on hard courts this week. So tough for Iga Sviantek. Then you got Hadid Maya versus Trevison. Winner of that match takes on either a qualifier or Fernandez in the second round. So that's a tricky match for Fernandez. Uh, potentially Iga Sviantek, third round opponent. So uh, we'll see how that one plays out over the next couple of uh, you know, ke couple of days. Then you got Belinda Bencic taking on Azarenka in the first round. Fire match up there. Winner of that will take on either a qualifier or Serena Williams. Serena is back. And it's going to be an absolute fire matchup in the second round of whoever she plays. Uh, then you've got Kanepi taking on Osaka. Winner of that plays Muguruza. And that's just the top quarter of the draw. So that is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, Bencic versus Muguruza, potential third round. Uh, but Sviantek's going to play either Bencic, Azarenka, Serena, Osaka, Muguruza, or Kanepi in the quarterfinals if she makes it that far. So uh, Iga Sviantek has the toughest quarter of the draw by far out of the top four seeds. Then we've got Maria Sakri, uh, the number three seed. She takes on either Sloane Stevens or Kennan in the second round after getting a bye in the first round. Then you've got Anisimova taking on the wild card Zhou. Jo Winner of that takes on either Krejcikova or Pliskova in the second round. Uh, then we've got Kazakina versus Andrescu. Fire first round matchup. Winner of that will play either Corne or Garcia in the second round. Then we've got Marino versus Zhang. Winner of that plays Onstra Burr in the second round, who gets a bye in the first round. So again, top half is stacked. Very stacked top half of the draw uh, for everybody. I mean, there's no easy matches at all in the top, in the top section. Even, you know, even that second section, there are some tricky matches for, for the top seeds, uh, mostly for Jabur, who's going to have to play some very tough opponents in the next, uh, in the next few rounds. <laughs> it's not an easy draw. All right, let's go to the bottom half of the draw. We've got Pagula. Up the top of this part of the draw, getting a bye in the first round. She'll take on either uh, Keys or a qualifier in the second round. Then we've got Bondaire versus Mertens. Winner of that will take on either Georgie or Raducanu in the second round. Massive first round there. Then you've got Ostapenko taking on Kalanina. Winner of that will take on either Kvitova or Risk in the second round. Then we've got Sebov versus Putin Seba. Winner of that will take on Paola Vadosa, the number four seed in the second round. So a little bit lighter draw compared to the top heavy uh, part of the draw. Uh, for this ladies' event, but still some tricky matches. Some tricky matches. Possibly Raducanu, if she can get through Georgie, might play Bedosa in the quarterfinals. Ostapenko is in that part of the draw against Bedosa, third round potentially. So interesting to see how that all plays out. Then we've got Sabalenka versus uh, possibly Tormo or a qualifier in the second round after a first round bye. Uh, winner of that match, then we've got, sorry, uh, Rabakina versus a qualifier. Winner of that match will take on either a qualifier or Coco Goff in the second round. So Goff versus Rabakina. A huge, huge second round match. Then we've got Halep versus Qualifier. Winner of that will take on either Zhang or another Qualifier. Uh, then you've got Teichman taking on Venus Williams. Winner of that will take on the number two seed, Contivate, in the second round. So again, some big names in this part of the draw, but not crazy first round matches like the top section of the draw. But uh, still, you probably want to be in Bedosa's section out of this uh, out of this whole draw because she has probably the easiest on paper. Who's going to win this tournament though? Because it's stacked. I mean, anyone could win. We're watching a lot of these ladies again for the second time on hard courts. Sviantek's coming back. Is she the favorite? Probably. I don't know. I like Bedosa's chances. I think Bedosa's got a good draw. I think she might be able to win the whole thing based on her easier draw. There's a lot of more, you know, uh, danger for the top seeds, especially Sviantek. Nightmare draw for her but let me know in the chat let me know in the comments below who do you think is going to win the ladies draw for canada this uh this year i'm i'm gonna go i'm gonna back badossa but uh again it's wta tennis anybody could win anything